Hello, can you believe the sitcom The Best It Girl was released 58 years ago? Many of us grew up attached to the TV screens. I think it would be fun if you and your family sat on the couch and watched this movie again with the entire cast of then and now. Where are these actors now, who made it to Hollywood and who passed away? Find the answer in our video. Derek Nemo was born on September 19, 1930, in Liverpool, Lancashire, England. He played the character David in the sitcom when he was 35 in 1965. We regret to inform you that in 1999, he passed away at 68, leaving us deeply saddened. For what things, my lord? The MCC tickets that you said arrived last week. Could you have just given them back to the dean, my lord? Now, don't start all that again. But you have. <laughs> Those tickets... In the pantomime with me, I was in the pantomime at the time, there were 26 German midgets. <laughs> and mine was a very large caravan. They were all living in little midget-sized caravans. Sheila Hancock was born on February 22, 1933, in Black Gang, Isle of Wight, England. She played the character Sheila Ross in the sitcom when she was 32 in 1965. She's now living happily at 90. We pull our weight in here. I don't think I've got anything to fear from this chambers person. Oh, Mr. Digby's office. Oh, uh, good morning, Mr. Trumper, the manager. Total madness and sadness as well. So that was the first thing. And then... One of my daughters got very, very ill, yeah. so... George A. Cooper was born on March 7, 1925, in Leeds, West Riding of Yorkshire, England. He was in the sitcom when he was 40 years old in 1965. We regret to inform you that in 2018, he passed away at 93, leaving us deeply saddened. Friend, aren't you, John? I like to think so, miss. John and Mrs. Gibbs. How is Mrs. Gibbs? Just the same, Miss Janet, just the same. Dillis Lay was born on March 11, 1934, in Muswell Hill, London, England. She played the character Dillis in the sitcom when she was 31 in 1965. We regret to inform you that in 2009, she passed away at 74, leaving us deeply saddened. They told me that when I make jam, a lot of the fruit taste just boils away in steam. But Hartley's new jam is cooked so gently in sealed pan. In fact, um, with the carry-ons, it was Joan there again who, who uh, got me into them because, bless her, she was... Damaris Heyman was born on June 16, 1929, in Kensington, London, England. She was in the sitcom when she was 36 in 1965. We regret to inform you that in 2021, she passed away at 91, leaving us deeply saddened. Oh, Let me have them! Get off me! Look, oh. I want it now! Good afternoon. Yeah. And there was a bit in episode three, I think it was, when I clonked someone on the head with... Ronnie Stevens was born on September 2nd, 1925, in Peckham, London, England. He was in the sitcom when he was 40 years old in 1965. We regret to inform you that in 2006, he passed away at 81, leaving us deeply saddened. Why were you sacked, Mr. Glenn? Your guess is as good as mine. All I did was to tell Mr. Wentworth about my ground floor display. Ground floor display? What about it? Someone keeps changing. We don't have a village policeman now. There's still a job to do. Those letters were vile. The language. David Lodge was born on August 19, 1921, in Rochester, Kent, England. He was on the sitcom when he was 44 years old in 1965. We regret to inform you that in 2003, he passed away at 82, leaving us deeply saddened. Do you know what's going to happen to you? Your father will have a word with the chief constable, and he might as well save his breath. Is that right, Mr. Smith? Oh, I know. Sorry. You also grunted at the unique marble fireplace and the armorial glass. Sorry. Paul Chapman was born on August 5, 1939, in Hampstead, London, UK. He was in the sitcom when he was 26 in 1965. He's now living happily at 84. See, no unique pal. <laughs> he'll, he'll sort them out, he will, he'll have them. He'll make them pay all their winnings back before he sends them home. Just you wait. 
Sam Kidd was born on February 15, 1915, in Belfast, Ireland. He was on the sitcom when he was 50 years old in 1965. We regret to inform you that in 1982, he passed away at 67, leaving us deeply saddened. Mike, tell me, what's it like policing in Edensfield? Well, obviously, uh, there's, there's not as much action as there is in London. Patrick Cargill was born on June 3, 1918, in Bexhill on Sea, Sussex, England. He was in the sitcom when he was 47 in 1965. We regret to inform you that in 1996, he passed away at 77, leaving us deeply saddened. You. <laughs> yes, they're very advanced, the Americans. But uh, Miss uh, Gladys. Miss Gladys, I'm afraid I'm accommodated. Oh, that's just middle. Alec Brigonzi was born on April 21st, 1930, in London, UK. He was in the sitcom when he was 35 years old in 1965. We regret to inform you that in 2006, he passed away at 76, leaving us deeply saddened. Might be the stairway to stardom, etc., and I be discovered I have walked on in television, mainly through an agent called uh, Eric Blythe, who specialized in war. Hi Hazel was born on October 4th, 1919, in Streetham, London, England. She played the character Liz in the sitcom when she was 47 years old in 1966. We regret to inform you that in 1970, she passed away at 50, leaving us deeply saddened. Sharia Winton was born on November 4, 1935, in Sheffield, Yorkshire, England. She was on the sitcom when she was 30 years old in 1965. We regret to inform you that in 1976, she passed away at 40, leaving us deeply saddened. Tell me who is your favorite character in the TV series The Best Sit Girl and share your thoughts on the deceased actors by leaving your comments under this video. Remember to support us by liking, subscribing to the channel, and pressing the bell to receive my upcoming videos. Thank you and see you again.